What is up everyone? Pugo Sean GG here and welcome back to the channel. So I got some exciting news for you guys. I made it to 3100 legend rank um, in the past uh, two days ago. And I think I caught one of the most rares, shiny there is, I could be wrong, but essentially you only have one chance or one time per season to catch this Pokemon. And I caught a shiny Lucha Libre Pikachu and I'm so freaking hyped. Um, so yeah, so I want to be sharing the battles I used to get to a legend rank. Um, I did after Holiday Cup. I went from 2900 back all the way down to 2500 after uh, a Great League after Holiday, Holiday Cup. So I tanked on Great League. It was it was a rough ride. Um, it's kind of sad, but essentially we got our groove back. Uh, we found a team that actually works for us. And that's going to be, be Galarian Stunfisk, Sableye, and Tropius. Um, this team has been running around, but some people have been using uh, Defense Deoxys in the safe swap. I find I don't have a Defense Deoxys, but I do have a, a, a Return Sableye that has pretty decent IVs. And after using this team for a while, I was a little sketchy, but Sableye is an outstanding safe switch. I, I can't uh, express how much I love this thing. And it, it's, it's been flipping so many matches for me. And yeah, if you land on a return, especially the Azu matchup, if you land a return on Azu in, in um, the safe switch spot, uh, you can win back switch advantage, which is crazy. And the, actually, the bubble damage helps uh, that matchup even more, the debuff to bubble. And yeah. So in this matchup, my opponent led Shadow of Bomb and Snow. Um, I can't be really mobile here just due to the fact that I have Tropius in the back, which it is will demolish that Tropius in one hit with the Weather Ball. So I take it down to like 10% health with a Rock Slide and some Shadow Claw damage with Sableye. Uh, I, I don't want my Sunfisk to go down just in case there was another Flyer. Um, if I had to potentially draw it with a Sableye. But we draw it in Azu, which is totally cool. Um, I make a Sack Swap here. Um, my opponent makes an unfortunate play of undercharging too much and he's going to be forced to switch in his Obama Snow and I'm trying to get to the Earthquake right here but I, I have a move sort of on my Tropius and uh, we're going to be taking it out with a Leaf Blade and Tropius too. Tropius is a freaking tank, a flying Venusaur tank thing. Um, it has the same stats, nearly has the same stats as Stunfish so it's pretty bulky. So in this matchup, my opponent leads uh, Surfetched, and I automatically go into Sableye. And my opponent goes into Bastiodon. Bastiodon has been running around a lot lately, and um, uh, just having G-Fisk on your team threatens, that, um, threatens it so much. So I could possibly win Switch Advantage here in this spot, but um, I probably won't. I probably want to um, take uh, take a shield and potentially farm down with G Fisk and have energy stored up to threaten that surf etched. So I'm going to bring back in my uh, Galarian Stun Fisk to farm this thing all the way down. Um, I think I'm going to shield here just because there's so much fast move pressure um, coming from the surf etched. So I have to use shields wisely and that. Flamethrower was going to do a lot of damage compared to a Night Slash and a Leaf Blade. Uh, my opponent brings out the Defense Deoxys here. It is uh, doing super effective damage with the counters, but since it's not Stab, it's not doing um, nearly as much. So I throw the Earthquake and I go for the Rock Slide, and with that Rock Slide, I'm going to be farming down um, with Glare and Sunfisk. Um, so I'll have an Earthquake stored up. Uh, None of the charge moves from Defense Deoxys is threatening enough where he can knock Galarian Sunfisk out, so I'm gonna look to farm down. So they bring out uh, the Galarian, I mean the Surfetched, and I'm looking to throw this Earthquake, gets the last shield, and we're gonna be in a great spot here. I make a mistake, it doesn't cost me the game, but I should be shielding the second one. And it was too early for a Brave Bird. I've been Brave, brave Birded once. Uh, against my Tropius and it was actually awful. Okay, so we get to this uh, Leaf Blade and we're gonna be knocking out this Bastiodon. 
There are times if they have a fighter in the lead, I like to switch in Tropius just to bait out the Bastiodon. And with that Bastiodon um, uh, being taken down by, or taken to low health with the Tropius, I like to farm down with Sunfisk. Um, it's kind of a weird play, bringing in your hard counter. But yeah. So this next matchup, uh, my opponent can win this matchup if he double shields. But he doesn't, he bails out and brings out a freaking Baidoof? Is it a Badoof? Oh, but Barrel. Is it a Barrel? I'm, I, I don't know my. Yeah, so it's a big Barrel and it's gonna. Nothing threatens um, Tropius from this matchup. So we're gonna land a Leaf Blade, which does a ton of damage. And for some reason, I'm going for Leaf Blade here. I'm not thinking where I should be going for the Air Slash. And my opponent can't uh, farm a lot here because um, this damage is adding up. And I'm actually going to bring in my Sableye to get a hefty farm. And okay, yeah. So uh, meta champs have been running around a lot lately, especially in these upper uh, levels. Um, Sableye is a complete wall. Uh, to meta jam, it could win down a shield, uh, no problem. Um, the thing you're looking out for is probably a bunch of ice, ice punches, but that's that's it. Even psychic is not that threatening. It's double resisted, right? Yeah, it's double resisted due to the dark type, and we're going to be taking that game. So nine tail, this is an incredible lead for us. Um, what does my opponent bring in here? So I'm just going to be looking to land a rock slide. I'm kind of feeling out what my opponent's doing here. I'm I'm favoring. I'm thinking about the switch. I'm favoring to bring in Tropius um, against the switch, just because Tropius does not want to see my tails, and it is. So this matchup is actually really cool, and it can be IV dependent. Maybe not to the update, but you want to bring in Tropius as fast as you can, and that way you can threaten the Leaf Blades faster than they could threaten the bubble beams. So I take the first one and my opponent's going to still have to commit both shields in this uh, matchup and he does it. So I just think they're just going to farm down with uh, Ninetales, which they do. Um, my Sableye and my Tropius gets to avoid this. Well, my Tropius got taken down, but Sunface is going to look to clean up here. Uh, this shield, which is indicator that they're weak to Sunfisk in the back. So I don't think I'm going to shield this one. And I'm charging up extra energy. These weather balls are, these weather ball updates to the, all these Pokemon are just so crazy. And it's a Jellicent. Why did they bring in Jellicent? Yeah, I, th I think bringing in Jellicent was the correct play. So I'm up against Jonkus. I know Jonkus just hit a uh, legend. And he's, he's playing a, a funny team here. So I safe switch in my, um, my Tropius, uh, hoping to bait out a like Bastiodon or something. Every time I say like a fighter in the lead, like especially a Metacham, I just think there's a Bastiodon in the back and I want to bait it out with Tropius so I can get my uh, Stun Fisk on it. But he brings out a freaking Porygon. And I'm like, what the heck? And this thing is so glassy, even though I took a lot of damage, I could actually win back switch here. Which happens actually. So even though I'm debuffed, my attack and defense just is so glassy that it cannot take a, a leaf blade. So I'm gonna be double shielding here um, and take down uh, this freaking Porygon. And I thought uh, Metacham was gonna come back out, but nope, it's another Porygon. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be looking to land a leaf blade here. Um, I should have threw the one earlier. It was essentially a blind uh, throw. But yeah, we're in a good spot. Uh, like I said, Metacham is... Uh, Sableye is a complete wall. Sableye is a complete wall to Metacham. And they just got ice punches going off left and right. And we just need to land foul play. 
I was afraid he was gonna get to another one. Nope. And we have no more shields. Try attack. Solar beam. Oh my gosh, poor Sableye. And we're out of solar beam solar beam range, so we're looking good here. All we need to do is land uh, one rock slide, and it'll take out this freaking crazy duck looking thing. It's so funny. So yeah. GG Zonkus. Great talented battler. And GG's. Um, yeah, up in this these higher ranges, there are some crazy teams going on. It's pretty fun. Okay, so Stun Fisk. So in this matchup, I actually like to overcharge the Earthquake so I can get an extra blood shot through. So it doesn't happen there. Um, they do bait me. I'm going straight for the rock slide, thinking that the, uh, that I'm gonna bait, but no. So I. <sighs> so there's a glitch or something. I actually tapped um, during that earthquake animation. I actually tapped the switch button, and it automatically switched me into Sableye, which makes me lose the match. So uh, this would have been a 5-0 set if I didn't click Sableye, because there's there's no there's literally no reason for me to switch there. Um, it was just an error on my end. It's I was tapping uh, the earthquake animation and it just made me switch. So I'm just trying to play out play out of this the best I can. Um, I shouldn't have shielded the second one. I don't know what I was thinking. I have a Tropius in the back that could handle this uh, very easily and two full mons left essentially. And now I'm gonna get taken out by uh, this team. So I do get hit by a sledge wave, and I'm gonna get hit. Oh my gosh. So I, sh I should have just thrown there and I would've been fine, right? So Swamper comes out and ruins my life. And it's a freaking spooter. I would've had this game 100%. So it's unfortunate though that um, Swampert has already a, a Hydro Cannon stored up, so even if I charge or double up with Rock Slides, there's essentially no win condition just because Swampert wins CMP and we lose uh, this 5-0, which is very unfortunate. I could have been a lot higher. What can you do? What can you do? Yeah, I, I went back and rewatched the replay. Like, I went like this. On the earthquake, and then I tapped, I tapped it for some reason. I tapped save life for some reason. Oh, it's so annoying. But it's all good. Uh, we went up a lot of points today. 3089. I didn't record uh, my sets going into Legend um, because sometimes when I record and I'm getting into Legend and then I'm a higher rank, I get stressed out a little bit. There's a lot of anxiety, so I didn't record. So this is a crazy team. So. This is a double charmer team. So my opponent leaves Obsecune. I get out of there. I don't switch into Sableye because I want to draw out uh, the Bastiodon. Um, but there's no Bastiodon. Um, if this was a Powder Snow Lone of Ninetales, I would have been absolutely deleted already. Uh, but judging on the uh, based on the team count, this is a double charmer team. Double Charm team. And do I want to switch here? So I think I shield this. Oh no, I don't shield it. Okay. So I'm looking to farm with Glare and Stunfisk. Um, I want to apply more pressure on this, um, this goon. And we go for the Earthquake, which lands. And so what I'm looking for what to happen is to um get this next pokemon down into like farming range but it looks like it's not going to happen so glare and some is going to have to do a lot of work in this whole match um, what i need to do is leave this patch up with as much stored energy so i can land an earthquake on obsigoon i don't think obsigoon is in rock slide range so i need to leave with almost a earthquake or no i need to leave with 
enough health to survive a night slash. Hopefully they're not running cross chop. Cross chop. If this is cross chop, I would have died. So if they have a gunk shot and they have, um, I'm sorry, what is it called? Night slash and gunk shot. So I needed to land, I needed to leave with health and energy. So GG's and up for our next opponent. Um, it's an Azu. Okay, so I could have stayed in there a little bit, but I decide to go into Sableye. I don't shield up this Weather Ball. Um, I go for the Foul Play, which is pretty risky. Okay. And do I land the return? Should I shield this? I'm at the return, I should probably shield this. And we go for the return. They get an extra powder snow through. And it knocks out the, the night tails. And I think I misplay here. No, I don't. Okay, I misplay. I misplay. I could have won this game. So I go into Galarian Stunface because I didn't want to get farmed. Um, As you with an energy advantage on Tropius is kind of a nightmare because it could get to almost three or four ice beams during that matchup, so I decide to switch, and I think this is um, the mistake. So I, I think I should have let it farm me down, so it ensures my Tropius goes on uh, this Azu, but then they, they hard counter me with a Lone Marowak. And essentially there's nothing I can do here. Um, maybe if my Sunfisk had a loaded energy, I could threaten it with a block slide, but it's not looking too hot because that as you still has some help and yeah I should have just let it farm me down it was a good play by them by letting their um, load of nine tails down and then just farming me because yeah it just gave him a great advantage this is rough too this is this is a rough matchup so uh, this matchup in the two shield uh, it's actually IV dependent. Um, Galarian Sunfist can win, but these Razor Leafs do add up and they're hitting for a neutral damage where we're just hitting resisted, uh, triple resisted mud shots where they're hitting us for heavy neutral fast move damage. And uh, I go into Sableye here and this is essentially a mirror match. Um, with Tropius in the lead instead of Sunfisk. And it ends up being really close. Um, I think if, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure the best way to play this. I didn't think it out too much, but there's definitely a, a winnable situation here. Maybe if I swapped in Sableye or play out the two shield, I haven't thought about it, but it's unfortunate my opponent takes it. Really good games. I shield up a return, which is awesome. Uh, I'm looking to land this Leaf Blade. Don't fully charge it so I can get a little bit of energy. Um, opponent swaps into Stunfisk right away. Uh, land the Leaf Blade. Guys, Tropius is so good. Leaf Blade is one of the best moves there is in the game. 35 energy, 70 damage. I believe. Very fast to get to. Double um, 2.0 DPE. Ah, these, these rock slides do a lot. And yeah, there's pretty much nothing I can do here. I think we just see a B tide and he just got to the earthquake. Yeah. Oh, I should have thrown that rock slide. Very close game, very, very close game. But they just had the advantage in the beginning. They probably should have played it out. Oh, I should soft lose and come in with Sableye and farm down. That's a play, I'm gonna do that next time. Okay, so Sableye lead. This is strange for me. Um, I think Sableye wins this in the two shield, and then the one shield too. Um, okay, my opponent makes a mistake here. So I safe switch into Sableye. My opponent safe switches into 
uh, Galvantula, but Sableye wins in the two shield, even with en even energy, um, as long as you're going correctly, and don't let them get any fast moves through. But they switched in uh, like a tur two turns behind, and this gives me an advantage to win switch advantage. That's, I think that's a mistake on my opponent's end, so I'm going to be double shielding so I can win back switch. Um, they lunge me. Oh, I don't. What am I doing? I think I'm just going to farm down there, right? I could have one switch there if I wanted to. Okay. I store up um, an earthquake, farm down with Sableye. I'm far down with Tropius, and I'm not paying attention. They have freaking power gem. How did I not know? Because I, I just assumed they have return and they would just go for the more energy efficient foul play. And I get taken down here. So there's only one win condition for me at this point. They have to have something super weak to, to an earthquake. It's a Machamp. So we go ahead and one shot the Machamp. And that's it. That's that's a GG. <laughs> I, I thought I totally was going to lose that game. That was like the only win condition there. Cool. And for my next opponent, uh, Basudon. You love to see it in the lead. Toxicroak. Okay. So um, in the zero shield, Tropius versus Toxicroak. Uh, Tropius can win, but, uh, but it's IV dependent. Um, I don't have the best ID IVs, so I go ahead and shield. Um, but at this point, I think my opponent double shields here. Yeah, this is kind of really weird. My opponent double shields here. Just I think he wants to get rid of both shields on my end. Which, which makes sense. But their Bastion on is just going to be stuck against uh, Galarian Stunfisk. So I, I don't want to switch out here just because I want my G Fisk on this Bastiodon. And I think they have a. Is it a Scrappy in the back or a Metacham? It has to be another fighter, right? So I'm sure they blind throw a flamethrower. Totally cool. I think it's is it a mechanium? I think it's a mechanium. So we land the earthquake. Mechanium comes out. This is still a, this isn't over yet. Um, mechanium just hits really hard. So I look to land this rock slide, switch into sable line, land the foul play, get hit by a friend of that, get farmed out. Um, but I think we have enough energy um, on, uh, what's his face, G Fisk to land a rock slide, or he gets down to a little bit of HP, and okay, they don't farm us down, which is great, um, but it's still not over. Oh yeah, okay, GG's, very close game. And I think we have a couple more games left. Uh, Scrafty, okay, this is like one of the worst leads because Scrafty, in theory, can handle um, Sableye as well. And I'm trying to time my fast moves to sync with their fast moves uh, so they don't get an extra fast move in. Cool. And at this point, I go for the one shield, so they burn a shield. I'm hoping this is their hardest flight encounter. I let it go, fortunately. And I try to go for the return. I should have recognized that I wasn't going to get there and go for the foul play just to get some chip damage. They go for the foul play. At this point, I'm just going to be throwing Leaf Blades because we're really low and they're staying in this uh, pretty bad matchup. So I'm wondering what's in the back. I forget about this game. So it's a Toxicroak. 
This is a very close game as well. So they're running a fighter in the lead, basket on, and a fighter in the back. That's that's kind of strange. So as it would annihilate this team, not annihilate, but it would do really good against this team. So I um, I looked around this rock slide, and I need I absolutely need to get another one. And we survive with like one HP, and we're able to take down uh, this toxic croak. Never mind. So we don't win this one. Two fighters. Great team there. Great team. Okay, Pelipper. So I like to throw the rock slide, uh, take a weather ball, and then switch into Sableye. Maybe not. Okay, so uh, after this weather ball, I go straight into Sableye. Um, I go ahead and eat this. I just want to see how much it does. So I don't eat it, I block it. I'm just going to look to farm this thing down. So Stunfisk, they catch a foul play on their Stunfisk. Which is fine by me. They're not throwing. Um, I think if they try to bait me with an Earthquake, but they actually throw a, a Rock Slide, which I could survive. Go for the Earthquake, go for the Earthquake. I don't want to get farmed here, but it looks like that's what's going to happen. Hmm. So, okay, so I go back and uh, commit my last shield so I can win switch. They bring in uh, what's his face, uh, Defense the Oxus. I'm going to bring in my G Fisk, get this Earthquake off. I'm not threatened by the charge moves at all. Um, I want them to throw their energy. If I survive here, uh, regardless of what happens, I'm going to switch. So I don't survive. Um, yeah, this is this is this is GG. Even this is if it's like a, it has to be rock slide. But it's not. It's a thunderbolt which does neutral damage. It just doesn't hit hard enough against the tanky Tropius. Um, so we're going to look to land some weak blades and take this defense Deoxys out. I really want to defense Deoxys. Niantic, please, bring it back. Cool. And I think this might be the last match. Again, I like to catch a... Hell, uh, I'm sorry, a weather ball here. And then switch after I throw my rock slide. So they go right away for the weather ball. So we grab a shield. Bring in Obsecoon. Obsecoon is a uh, pretty good response. They don't shield this. They don't shield that, which is really good. Um, probably, I don't shield this. Wow. So I go for the foul play. Um, it almost takes it out. And I think I'm going to look to win switch here. I win switch advantage. <laughs> I have to shield here because they have enough energy for a hurricane, uh, which they throw. And it's a G Fisk. So I'm out of shields. Uh, G Fisk could. Uh, sweep our team. Unfortunate. Weak Blade still does a lot of damage. And they're gonna let them take us out, and we have an unshielded G Fisk. So they're just gonna get to the Earthquake and essentially take me out here. I try to pretend I have an Earthquake already, which I don't, but it's okay. They would just go into Pelipper and take me out. 
that's GG. Um, I think I misplayed there. And, oh, okay, that was the last battle, and here's where we get to 31-31. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys have any questions, uh, please leave them down below. Comments, questions, concerns. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.